Hello, Flimsy Lunch Tray here, and welcome to back, I should say, to our new player guide series, as this is part 57, if I remember correctly. And uh, last week, as this video goes up, uh, actually just an hour ago, as I'm recording now, uh, I was posed a really good question um, by Jay's Music, yeah? And so you caught me at a really good time, my man, because I was already working on recording multiple videos. Uh, and he asked me a really interesting question, and it's something I've never covered on the channel before, and as he also points out, doesn't seem to be anyone explaining this. Um, so his question was, uh, Flimsy Lunch Tray, please explain converting XP experience from ships and from commanders. When to use it, or if you recommend it or not, and should you convert the ship XP before selling a ship, or does that even matter? Uh, there doesn't seem to be anyone explaining this. I'll put the question on the screen here just so... Uh, we are all on the same page, if I spoke a little too fast or something like that. And that's a really good question, right? Um, so on the first off the cuff, uh, the simple answer is I've been playing World Warships for four years and I've never used it. Uh, I've never done it, I've never converted any uh, XP off my ships uh, into free XP or any Elite Commander XP into free XP. Um, so that's just a on the surface answer. And then we'll look at what does it mean, like if I sell a ship, do I lose all that XP on the ship or does it move elsewhere? And also how the research bureau may affect those things as well. Uh, so as you can see here, um, Massachusetts is my most played ship in the game. I don't really take, um, if I wanted to, I could uh, take even higher ex uh, expendable bonuses for the uh, ship XP. Uh, but it would be really pointless since this is not a tech tree ship, it's a premium ship, right? So I, I really like playing my premium ship, but now I have 2.3 million XP. Um, is there something I can do with this, right? And Wargaming has uh, said yes, there is, but it's going to cost you doubloons, it's going to cost you money. Um, so, you know, the how to spend, if this was a tech tree ship, like if I was looking at my North Carolina, as an example, I have 65,000 on it. You know, you use it to research uh, the next ship in a line or the modules for the ship. Um, and you earn the ship XP, of course, by playing in battle. But let's just, for example, we can talk about um, our the Massachusetts 2.3 million. So uh, there's plenty of XP I have in the game to convert. So uh, if you're wondering uh, what that looks like, is if you go up here to convert XP, you can see right now I have 858,000, uh, 858, 111,000, <laughs> he's supposed to say that. And if I click on here, this is where his question comes from, uh, Mr. J Music. Uh, so here you can see convert XP before transaction and after transaction. So uh, you could see just from what's showing right now, if I used all my doubloons, all my gold, 4,686 doubloons, uh, I would be able to convert uh, some that much in terms of uh, cost um, XP um, gold, use that much gold to convert XP off of all these ships, and here you can see Massachusetts sitting on the top, or Yahagi here, and then I, with that 4,686 uh, 4, doubloons, I would then, after the transaction, be up to 975,000 uh, free XP. Um, now, Wargaming has probably even made even a less case for doing this now versus perhaps uh, a year or two ago. Uh, when you could still uh, pick up a lot of free XP ships in the game, which they've since removed and put them in the armory, or just no longer available. Like, that's how I picked up uh, Alaska for a million free XP. Um, but I didn't use this converting XP ratio and stuff. Um, so, in general, I would say that this is uh, not good um, to use. Perhaps most players who utilize this is... I could see two scenarios. One is uh, you would be... Um, uh, you're a whale, <laughs> okay? You have a lot of money, you can buy a lot of doubloons, you, ha you have deep pockets, and you just want more free XP for uh, utilizing in the research bro, which should be the second reason, right? So if I'm, uh, like right now, if I go to my uh, Japanese destroyer line, my Shimakaze line, I'm currently resetting uh, this line, and I'll just go ahead and throw a video, or uh, at the very end, if you want to learn, learn more about the research bureau and how that functions. Uh, I've reset the Shimakaze line, right? And if I want to just use my free XP, like right now, I could uh, free XP this entire line up to Shimakaze again, and then I can click reset again, 
uh, and then that will give me an additional like uh, 10.2k. Uh, uh, yeah, 10,200 research bureau points, right? Um, and then, you know, but that's a video that's completely different, right? But I could use free XP to do that um, if I don't want to have to keep playing using ship XP uh, economic bonuses uh, to re-go uh, down this line. I just want to use my free XP, right? So if uh, you don't, once you've, since there are no longer uh, free XP ships in the game, pretty much most of your free XP you use is to pick up modules uh, and other tech tree ships um, for the most part. That's pretty much the purpose. Or also there's in-game events, right? So let's say for example, okay, I've got Yahagi here with 8,682 free XP. So let's say I wanted to um, convert all the ship XP off Yahagi. Now I have the issue right now because I have so many ships that I have to actually click on uh, deselecting. So I can just click on all warships and now you can see it's none of them are selected. So I want to convert the XP from Yahagi. Here you can see basically how the, it functions is it functions in ratios of 25. So I can't actually put in uh, the 8,682 because when I do uh, and I click here, it's going to reset to 8,675. So uh, ratios of 25, okay? So first off, looking at from ships, can be transferred from ships. You can see this is uh, elite ships. Um, the ships become elite once all of our modules in the next ship in the tech tree are researched. Uh, special ships, ships have a different set of properties. She can be obtained for various resources or received during events. And then premium ships, right? So this is kind of getting like, the ships you buy for the balloons and then ships maybe you picked up for coal, uh, free XP, um, this, that, and the other, okay? So rate 25 uh, XP, ship XP, plus one doubloon will give me 25 free XP, right? So I can just, again, if I, I wanted to make the case, let's just say I want to I want just 25 free XP. It's going to cost me one balloon. Um, so let's again. Let's so let's say we want to use uh, the example with Yahagi. It would cost me 347 doubloons to convert the three uh, the 8,000. What I can get out of it, 8,675 ship XP um, for free XP, right? And then here you can see before after transaction. This is how much uh, doubloons I'm going to lose again. 347. And I'm going to go from 858,000 to 866,000 uh, free XP. Um, I don't. I wouldn't bother with this. Like I, I wouldn't do this. Um, this is just something that um, typically with players that just have a lot of money. Now, in the same example, uh, we can talk about from commanders. So if this is also still utilizing um, converting your elite commander XP, right? So uh, I have a lot of uh, elite. Commander XP, I almost have 300,000 currently. Uh, I had more, but I spent, splurged a lot over Christmas break. But let's say I wanted to convert, uh, let's just say uh, 100,000. I don't think I can actually even, uh, oh yeah, I can get that. So um, now what it's showing me is it's gonna cost me, um, it says 4,000 gold. Did I click on something wrong here? So let me try this again. Uh, let's do 100. Nope, 100. So here you can see that I'm going to, uh, from a rate of 25 elite commander XP plus one doubloon, I will then get 25 free XP. So, I mean, I can even just do this, right? So uh, I do that. Uh, let's, I can just go ahead and give an example. I don't mind spending uh, one doubloon and <laughs> leveling it out. Uh, so you can see I'm gonna have a little bit more free XP, but like literally only 25 more, so convert. Convert 25, basically elite commander XP for uh, one balloon. Yes. Okay. And then we'll go back and looking at converting XP from commanders. And you can see I have a little less uh, elite commander XP now uh, because this is just utilizing. If you want to know where that's at, um, I'm not sure. I'm assuming you maybe you've been playing World Warships for a while now. Uh, but you can see elite commander XP is up here. Uh, you use it to accelerating training, retraining of any commanders, and can be converted into free XP. Right, which is uh, what we were just talking about here in converting uh, the XP. So um, that command, Elite Commander XP, uh, you really want to keep all of that, right? So basically, how do you earn Elite Commander XP? I mean, after you have a battle, you get a little bit of a ratio. But once you have a 21, uh, 21 point commander, uh, any XP, Commander XP I earn from him goes instantly converted into 
uh, elite commander XP, right? And then I might be utilizing, like I'm utilizing a special economic bonus, expendable bonus, commander XP plus 200% to give, uh, to uh, reinflate uh, my elite commander XP. So I can use that on grinding other commanders up to a 21 point commander. So again, I'm just gonna look at your question here and make sure I, I covered that. Um, hopefully that's a good enough explanation for you, but I do not recommend it. Um, unless you have deep pockets and you don't want, you really want uh, more free XP uh, in the game. Otherwise, you know, you should really retain your elite commander XP. Maybe unless you're like, you have all the ships in the game, you have so many commanders at 21 points, it just doesn't matter anymore than like, hey, my pockets are deep, then you'd be looking at doing that. Uh, otherwise, uh, not so. Like this, because that's another conversation talking about how am I going to, how to get 21 point commanders or how to, um, yeah, I, and that's part of your question with the ship XP is how to utilize that, okay? So now you asked a second uh, follow up question to that. Um, should you first convert the ship XP before selling a ship or does, uh, or does that matter? Okay, so our case study is going to be a tier four ship, which I'm going to sell and I'm gonna buy back. So uh, we're gonna look at the Xinyang. So I go over to uh, the Pan-Asian line. Uh, so here on uh, Xinyang, you can see I have 14,566 uh, ship XP, right? If I go to the tech tree, just as an example, we're gonna check the tier one um, cruiser and I'll get to why this is important shortly. But you can see there's zero ship XP sitting uh, here on this ship, okay? And as we looked at Xin Yang, uh, let's look at these two as well. This one doesn't show any XP. This one doesn't show any XP sitting on it either. So it looks like just uh, the Xin Yang, uh, do we have that? So I'm gonna go ahead and sell the ship. Again, 14,566. Uh, we'll just uh, sell those, it's fine. So we have now sold the ship. Now we're gonna check here. And again, we still see there's zero XP here. Uh, and then there is none here. And there is none here. Okay, now I'm gonna buy Xin Yang back. We bought it back. And you can still see that the ship XP is still here, all 14,566. Uh, so even though we sell the ship, uh, whatever ship XP we've earned on it stays with the ship, okay? Now that's in the instance of selling it like this. Now if you reset a line, okay, that is not the same, it's different. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the Japanese ships and we'll go to tech tree. Okay, so as I said, I've, I've this line I regularly reset for research borough points. I like keeping the Hugumo line even though it's the cheapest in terms of XP to uh, reset, uh, but I want to keep <laughs> my Hurugumo, uh, and I don't mind being away with the Shimakaze for a while because I like playing up this line again when the time comes, okay? So we've reset this multiple times. Now any ship XP that was sitting on these ships uh, is taken away completely. Uh, we lose it, okay? That ship XP goes and it sits on the tier one. So do you think I've played Hada uh, Hashidate so much that I would have almost uh, a quarter million XP on the ship? No, I've only played the ship just like, I don't know, a couple times. So when, I, when you reset a line, right? So if I want to reset the Yoda line, here it tells me you reset the research progress. Research progress for ships and modules of the tech tree branch will be reset. Uh, I get credits, all the ships of the branch including modules will be sold. Any XP that has not been converted into free XP will be transferred to the tier one ship. Okay, so that I can still access the ship XP at any point. It's just been moved off of the uh, all these ships, this whole ship line when I reset it, it's been moved off of it and it's been moved on to the tier one. So you never lose the ship XP. So you never have to worry if you, you sell a ship uh, this, that, and the other. I, I regularly sell ships and I, I pick them back up sometimes. Uh, I never have to worry about uh, losing uh, that ship XP. So we can go back to um, back to Xinyang. <laughs> so I'll scroll all the way over. Right here. So we sold the ship, we bought it back. 
14,566 uh, ship XP still set on here. They will only leave this ship and move to the tier one uh, sh uh, Shin Gun if I were to reset this line. So uh, if I reset it here, then I'm gonna lose uh, that ship XP. It, it, I'm not gonna lose it, it's just gonna be moved to the tier one. So, um, so um, I hope this answers the, your questions. Uh, regarding, um, well, I guess I'll just go to the screen. Uh, when it comes to converting XP in the game, if I didn't hit on something that you, uh, you or maybe even others were a little bit more curious about that perhaps I didn't go into uh, enough depth or detail, uh, please let me know uh, as I wanna make sure that I do accurately uh, go over that. Because here you can see like even with all uh, warships, 25 million ship XP. And the cost of converting XP from all ships would be a million doubloons, right? Because it's a, a rate of a one doubloon for 25. So that's um, your ratio there. And a million doubloons is a ton of money. Uh, maybe I'll put in like the bottom right here, like how much it would actually cost after my four years of playing World of Warships uh, if I were to want a lot of uh, <laughs> free XP how much that would cost. I bet it's insane. It has to be really high. So thanks for the question. I really appreciate it. Um, sometimes I don't think of uh, these type of questions to per se um, address because I'm just not thinking of them. And of course, I've been playing the game so long um, that I just never deal with converting any of the ship XP or elite commander XP and free XP just because it's not needed. Maybe when you used to have free XP ships, it, like, oh, I just need a, little, a couple thousand more free XP then. Yeah, sure, if you didn't want to play uh, another battle, but uh, now with no longer having free XP ships in the game to attain and buy, eh, probably not so good. Um, but it's mostly probably the free XP is more or less used for researching modules, you know, new ship branches, and then uh, the research bureau. I mean, resetting uh, whole tech trees and then uh, stacking the resets, as it were. So um, if you liked today's video, give a thumbs up. If you didn't, give a thumbs down. Subscribe if you do want to see more. If you subscribed, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. And I uh, hope this new player guide video was helpful for you today. So until next time, take care.